y'all are dehydrated. Okay, some of y'all are so dehydrated. Y'all are dehydrated and y'all thirsty. Like I'm over it. I am freaking over it. There are so many things that we could be talking about. We could be talking about global warming. We could be talking about butterflies and unicorns and rainbows. But no, what we got to talk about is the color green. The color green, like my lipstick. Green with envy because that is what is going on. And it doesn't make any sense whatsoever like this is what this is like here's the thing you want to sit here and call nick snyder um a bully nick is not a bully he's an ass he is a top of the line well-breaded ass everybody knows that he knows that okay so get over it but what kills me about about you luscious massacre is this is that you're, you're dehydrated you're very dehydrated. You are thirsty for their attention. And I'm over it. I am over it. Go quench your thirst with something else. Okay? Your own people are like, oh, hey, what's going on with the drama? Whatever that tweet was that you posted that you were going to stay away from this. Because here's the thing is that you are, nobody's looking for you. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm seeing is that your platform seems to be geared towards attracting those people who don't like those drama channels. They don't like Nick, uh, Nick Snyder, uh, Dustin Daly, Petty Page, or Rich Lux, which I mean, it's understandable. Y'all are all like freaking Mariah Carey. Y'all are so obsessed with them. And I don't understand why. I, I mean, well, I mean, I understand why, because you're thirsty. You want what they had. So what you're doing is, is that the people that are coming to you and saying all the things and doing the things that they're doing are those people that don't like them. So what kind of channel are you? You know what I'm saying? Nobody is out here like freaking Waldo looking for you, but you keep trying to pop up in everything. What was one of your titles was like Rich Lux's ex-best friend. You don't think people go click on that? clickbait but you want to sit here and act like you are a freaking like captain freaking america and stuff with your cape and your wind and stuff blowing man come on come come on i'm over it and here's the other thing anybody that is going to attack nick snyder's sobriety shame on you you know what that shows me that shows me that somebody like you that has to go after his sobriety has no iq you have no IQ. You have no thought process of your own. You don't. Go pick up a book. Go pick up one and go pick up a dictionary and go and learn you some words. Think of anything. Just like I know that some of you will come up to me. You might come up to me and say, oh, she fat. This is that. Well, guess what? I'm going to be fat tomorrow too. Okay? So think of something new. Think of something new. I don't know this. I don't know. That's a freaking Lula. I am a walking, talking, hot mess. I am a disaster. I am a hurricane. Just mess, okay? But that's okay. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? But I know who I am. But come for something different. Throw me something that I haven't heard before. But going after somebody's sobriety, just shame on freaking you. And it shows that you have absolutely no intelligence. When you can't think of something else, call them fat. I am just over it. And, and, and what kind of human being are you? If you see and you condone it, you condone your fans sitting here going after Nick's sobriety. You condone it because how hard would it be the same way you called out Paige the other day? Because she's like, um, sis, nobody's looking for you, which is the God's honest truth. Just like you had the nerve to sit there and call her out, call Dustin out, call them out. You want to call everybody freaking out by name, call your own damn fans out. Call your fans out because there's no reason why you as a creator, as an influencer should be allowing your fans to sit here and attack somebody's sobriety, attack his personality. I mean, God, there is so much that you could attack Nick Snyder for. You know what I'm saying? He is an open book. Attack him. He's ready for it. But you can't, you, but you can't because you can only go for something that you know is going to hurt him. So shame on you. So what kind of people are you and what kind of person are you, Luscious, that you would let this stuff happen and not say anything and say, hey, you go after him all you want, but leave his sobriety alone.
you have named yourself as the anti-drama channel. So, the, so basically, I guess they're giving you what you want. But this is the one thing that I don't understand is that why are you like using words like this crack in all caps? Like, what are you trying to insinuate? So please explain to me by tweets like this. How are you any better than the people that you were criticizing? Talking about they every day they assassinate someone's character, lying about them, obsessing over them on YouTube. What are you doing, queen? alone and but yet you want to sit here and act like you're the morality police the hell you are i it is my job to call people out no it is not not when you are sitting here and saying that these same people that you are calling out are freaking bullies do you know what it's like to be bullied because if you knew what it was like to be a real, to be bullied, to be on the receiving end of bullying, bullying, you would never sit here and say that somebody's bullying you when they're in fact not bullying you. Am I pissed? Absolutely. Because this has been going on for too freaking long. And enough is enough. But you want to sit back and cry. You want to sit back and be freaking Justin Timberlake and cry in the river like you're the victim. You are not the victim. You are not the victim. Nobody was doing nothing for you. And anybody that's been really bullied, anybody that has been really bullied, they are not going to go and draw attention and call out their bullies and say all these things for the world to draw attention. You know what? I'm saying exactly what you're doing. You are not a victim when it comes to this. In this situation right here, nobody was talking about you. But because you might have seen your numbers and your stuff going freaking down. Oh, well, what can I do? Oh, they're going, they're all about bashing people's lives. And let me tell you something. You need to keep Paige's mouth name out of your mouth. She did not say nor do anything to y'all, to y'all. But yet, I be seeing y'all coming hard. And that's just for anybody that wants to freaking listen. Y'all be coming for Paige for what? For what? Y'all attacked Paige and was so ugly. You want to know who was bullied? Paige. Petty freaking Paige was bullied. She was on the receiving end of being bullied. She sat there and y'all talked about her husband. Y'all talked about her child. Y'all talked about her. Y'all completely and totally trashed her. She was the one who was freaking bullied. So don't you dare sit here and act like these drama channels are bullying you. They have every right as a right now to defend themselves from the hate and the, the disgusting tactics that your people and you are, are using. This is just so freaking unfortunate because you actually have talent. You have a personality that could attract and draw people to you. You could. You do. And they need more people like you on, 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 on platforms. They need more representation in the, um, in the Hispanic community. They need more representation of boys in makeup, especially people of color in makeup. They need more representation of that. But right now, what are you doing? Stop being freaking Tati Westbrook and blaming everybody for something that you caused. I'm getting off my soapbox and I'm going back to finishing up this freaking video. I just have one more thing that I have to say. I'll focus on this drama. I think that all this drama is stemming from the fact that you are hurt. And I can't speak for your friendship of 10 years with Rich. Maybe y'all two need to sit down and have a come to Jesus meeting. Maybe y'all need to. Maybe that's the whole thing is that all of this is coming from pain. But nobody can deal with y'all's pain unless you and Rich are willing to do that. It is my hope that all parties involved can find some kind of resolution because none of us got time to be dealing with all this fussing and cussing and drama. Because let me tell you, that's going to do nothing but give us all wrinkles and none of us have time for that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, thank you for listening to Jen Straight Up and I will catch you on the next one.